So in this video, we are going to be talking about one of the free for the month assets available in the Epic Game Store Marketplace and that is the point and click adventure toolkit. So it's a game framework made with an Unreal Engine using only blueprints. Also you have full access to the source of this toolkit so you can easily customize it and extend the game framework by yourself. The entire game framework is built entirely within Unreal Engine. The documentation is actually over here. And you can click on this link over here to go to the documentation. And I strongly recommend you to actually read through this documentation. So back in over here, you can create a project for this. I have already created mine. Before I continue, I do want to mention that in my case, uh, for some reason, the point and click adventure isn't working for me in Unreal Engine 5. And I believe part of the reason for that is because I haven't updated my Unreal Engine 5 version to the latest version yet. And that might be the reason why I'm having a lot of bugs or a lot of errors when I have tried to load it. But in Unreal Engine 4.25, it works perfectly fine. So I believe this is more of an issue on my side. But I'm still putting it out there in case anyone else faces the same issue. So I'm going to open this up. So when you first start the project with this toolkit, you will find a lot of shader compilations happening over here. So just wait for them to get compiled. So this level over here is one among the two levels that is provided with this toolkit. And it is meant for demonstrating the capabilities of this toolkit. So this level in particular shows, showcases the features and capabilities of the toolkit and we have another level as well which basically showcases the capabilities of this toolkit in an actual game. So the creator of this uh, toolkit had created a short demo game with this game framework and we'll check it out later. In the content browser we have this PNC toolkit. So this is the main folder over here. And in here we have three separate folders over here. These three folders actually make up the game framework that comes with this toolkit. And we also have this PNC game folder over here. So the PNC game contains both of the levels that I talked about before. That is the overview map and the forest demo map and all their related assets as well. So this folder is not necessary for the, for the functioning of this game framework but it's there for the purpose of learning this toolkit properly. I believe you can just delete this out to reduce the storage taken up by the project but I wouldn't advise you to delete this if you're, a, if you're just starting out. So inside the PNC game we have the characters and scenes and inside the scenes we have the two levels that I talked about the forest demo and the overview level map and we are currently in the overview level map this particular level showcases the capabilities of the game framework and there are a lot of capabilities in this. I would recommend you to actually read through all these and check out all the features yourself. I'm just going to quickly go through some of these just to show you. But there are a lot as you can see. So again, quickly trying this out. There is this little scene transitioning like effect going full screen. As you can see. In here we have a cursor that dynamically reacts with the object you're looking at. It's a dialogue that you're going to talk to. Yeah, all kinds of options like here you can choose. Again, another really interesting one is the cutscene dialogue that I personally find to be pretty interesting. And again, using this game framework, it can really help you save a lot of time, which otherwise you would have to spend trying to create the logic for all of these yourself. You also have the door logic over here. Again, you can see the icon inside the cursor have updated to showcase that it's a door. You can see it automatically behaves. Again, all of these functionalities are just baked in. You don't need to create the logic for these. And all kinds of camera perspectives that is actually built with this toolkit itself. To have seamless transition between different camera viewpoints.
and now we're going to check out the other level that is inside this quantum browse over here that is the forest demo and this demo again is a full game inside it so opening it up now i had already played around in here so i'm just going to click on the x icon over here main menu again there's a full menu system over here in this game so i'm going to create a new game so again full with scene transitions you can't also interact with this while it's running you also have a saving system in here again interacting with objects you have options to actually combine things as well so like we have these options like you can take this object over here and you can actually combine objects in this game again all the features that you need to create a typical point and click game is present in this game so you can actually create all kinds of functionality in here so now assume that you wanted to recreate this functionality some of this functionality in another level so i'm just going to go and create a new level go to file new level and select default and then in here we need to set up some components so we need to add some components in our scene before we can actually use the point and click toolkit in here so first thing is that in our pnc toolkit go to blueprints and in here you need to go to cameras and you have this blueprint called advanced camera so drag this into the scene just like that and then after that we need to add a scene the scene manager base over here i'm going to go create a child blueprint class of this and then drag this on to the content and after this we need to add a player under characters 3d and we have this option called bp pnc character 3d player so drag this over here into the scene and after that we need to do one more thing we're going to search for nav mesh so you have nav mesh bounce volume this one over here drag this and place it onto the scene and then i'm going to press the r key to scale this to the entire length of this floor and that's it now we're going to run the game and there we have it we have the point and click functionality in a brand new level and our character will actually move to any direction or anywhere where this nav mesh bound is present so if i were to actually decrease the scaling so we have a bit of a space over here watch what happens when i click over here see our character is not moving beyond the point where our where our nav mesh volume is present so this is mainly used for preventing the player from crossing areas where you don't want the player to actually move so it's a great way of actually controlling and limiting the movement of the player and now suppose that in one of the example content so that is in the overview level so i'm going to go into scenes overview open up the overview map I'm going to save the selector and then call this as test. First, let me get rid of this green color over here by pressing the P key. And now, suppose that I wanted to add the same dialogue system as one of the examples over here. So I'm going to select this one over here. I want to simply copy and paste the same uh, dialogue system in our level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these two things, the interaction volume and this character over here and then copy it by pressing the control plus c and after that go back to our test level and i'm simply going to paste this and double click on the interaction volume and it's over here so we need to drag this over to where our level is i'm just going to select both of these and now i'm going to play this so we have our level over here Notice that our cursor had updated its icon. I'm going to click on the character over here. And now the dialog system is functional. So again, 
this works with most of the examples in the overview level but this doesn't mean that everything in this level actually works so in the case of this one over here where you need to actually pick up an item over here this will not work unless you have this item as well copied into your level so some of these require an extra work on your side you can't just copy and paste them directly so yeah that's about it so this is one among the free for the month assets available in the epic game store marketplace and this month is almost over there's only a few more days i believe left by the time this video comes out again it's completely free you don't need to pay any money for this so you can just keep it in your library and use it whenever you want and i also personally find this to be a very very useful uh, toolkit for learning for learning how point and click games are made in general you can learn how the how all of these systems interact with each other and overall get a better idea on how to create your own point and click game so from a learning standpoint or from a beginner standpoint i find that this is very useful so yeah that's about it thanks for watching and see you later bye